Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to share the tags that I have made for the Christmas tags on the 25th collab. Um, each month we make some Christmas tags to have on hand for the holiday season coming up. Now at Hobby Lobby, the last time I was there, um, a couple weeks ago, I found some really cool clear acrylic tags. And I thought that would be fun to play with. And so I found some paper. Um, it is called Northern Lights. I had gotten it a while back. Um, it is double-sided because I knew I, I needed double-sided paper for this. Um, but it has all these fun, like, winter and Christmas-themed prints on there. And so I went with this pattern here. It has sort of Christmas wreaths and, and cardinal birds. And the back side was like the little advent type. And you can see probably that that is plastic, like the clear acrylic. And I wanted the paper on the back side to show through. And I did use my art glitter glue so that it would dry clear. And I added these little wood tags that I also got the same day at Hobby Lobby. And I, this, uh, um, they didn't have any um, other sentiments I had, I got with love and then the other tags said something but they were not even close to being able to use for Christmas um, but I thought that was cute because this is a gift you're giving it with love and on these little trucks which I had purchased last year um, back when they had all the Christmas stuff out at Hobby Lobby and you can see in that gold foiling they do say it does say Merry Christmas which is cute and Santa's driving the truck has a tree in the back there's a little gem on the tree which is adorable so i thought well with the red the gold lettering it says merry christmas i really didn't have to put any kind of sentiment on here like merry christmas with love because it already has a merry christmas and then this is stampin up ribbon um, which is really thin um, came in a two pack i have a sort of a pale like a lighter green which didn't really match the collars um, so i just went with red and the red has the gold stitching on the edges which pulled out the gold in this truck and i love how these turned out i did just use my tape runner and this is sticking really well and then added a couple little um, jimmies up there in the corner and i did all six of these the same and then whenever i find my two from stamp i'm still looking for it <laughs> somewhere um I will put like on a piece of paper on some cardstock to stamp to and from and I can put it down here like on the bottom part of the tag but I think these turned out so cute I love how they turned out now I'll probably cut these a little bit short but I can just tape it across the package and then they can keep this as a little if they want to keep it that's the only thing I don't give these to just everybody especially like these plastic ones because a lot of people would probably just chuck them in the trash. I like to give these to my crafty friends, the ones that I actually, you know, are a little bit more substantial. Um, but there are some family members that I know would keep it. And I would give these to like coworkers and friends that, and, fa and family that I know would really like, enjoy this handmade tag. And so that is what I have made for this month. Um, everyone that is participating will be linked down below. So please go and check out their Christmas tags. Um, there's always really amazing ones that people come up with, and it might inspire you. So um, thank you, everyone, for stopping by, and I hope you all had a great day, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.